Oh. Rolly has the unmitigated gall to compare her body to Miss Camilla, baby. And you know Miss Camilla had to respond. She went the entire dog in on the behemoth. And Smiley responds to Tzatziki saying that she jumped her along with Janet and Marsh. Let's talk about it. Chow, not only is Rolly a delusional hoe, she is a terrible role model to plus sized women hoe. This woman gonna say that she never go into the gym and she gonna continue to get her surgeries. The fuck? You are terrible. But let's listen to her say it. And sidebar, I will say that Rolly's teeth are looking exceptionally well. You know, she got them done. Veneers, honey, 50,000. Even though she probably got them for free because of, you know, her social media following. But hey, I can't even hate shit. If I had that and I could get shit done for free, bitch, I'd do it too. But anyway, let's listen to her be a terrible role model. Fat, they want me to lose um, a little bit more weight back there so they can get all of it. And then I'm going to need a back lift. So once I get my back lift, I will be done with everything. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Why would I go to the gym when I got the money to pay for it, ho? Ha! You go to the gym, pay your $24.99 a month. You broke, ho. I mean, it's better to pay your $24.99 a month than end up in the morgue. I mean, will the real Kanye West's mother please stand up? Will the real Jackie O please stand up? Like... Come on now. Other than that, you won't be seeing me work out nothing but some motherfucking food or some dick. That's it. Or this blunt. Boop. What is the purpose of getting all the surgeries if you just gonna eat the same way? You gonna gain all the shit back and you gonna need more motherfucking surgeries. Like, what the fuck? This bitch is stupid. She also has the nerve to comment on Camilla's post-baby body. Let's listen. Hold on. <sighs> Don't get on here talking about kangaroo pouch. I don't want to talk about her. I'm not talking about none of these bitches no more until the motherfucking reunion. Like, that's when I address everything. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about none of them. Like, I don't give a fuck. Y'all yeah, can say I got a big belly, whatever. That bitch still got a kangaroo pouch. I'd rather have a kangaroo pouch than be a beluga whale. That's just me. But Camilla responds, and she goes all the way the fuck in. Let's read. Thank God I was blessed and they have to fix a thing on me. Kangaroo pouch is a compliment when you built like a linebacker and hair look like it ain't been combed underneath them wigs since the Underground Railroad days. Oh, not the Underground Railroad days. I mean, no lie, but she do be looking like Harriet Tubman, though. The fat Harry Tubman. Camilla continues. Why Rolly still bumping her fat ass gums? Girl, you a fan. Stay in your lane. Like I said, grizzly bear, you can't even compare to me on any level. Not on my worst day. Bitch getting a billion surgeries to be a baddie like us. You don't let these checks pump you up. Talk your shit, Camilla. A fan comments, Girl, she doing it at 4.30 in the morning, too. Camilla responds, Like, it's given I have to talk shit to keep my job. Oh, she just said the quiet part out loud. Camilla talks about the next time she gonna see Rolly and what's gonna happen. Let's read. The penguin walking bozo was all smiling in my face. Now all of a sudden, you got so much to say for me commenting on a bite. You a bird and I'm gonna feed your ass when I see you. I know it's sad to watch a real beautiful mother that didn't have any surgery and still killing the game. Oh yeah, that's right. After Camilla said Rolly bit Biggie, Rolly's been throwing a lot of shade. Damn, Rolly, you petty as a motherfucker. And my whole thing is, I don't understand how a fat person can read somebody who's not fat's body. I don't, I don't understand that. Camilla's not even fat. Like she just had a baby and women's bodies change. And best believe Camilla could choose to get liposuction and she'd be back to that body that she had. And you'd be trying to emulate her and saying slick, jealous things like you said to T. Oh, you think you pretty a fuckable, huh? Now let's get into Smiley and Tzatziki, baby. I know Smiley is shaking in her boots because she thinks that Tzatziki is going to get to her at that reunion and she's going to be looking like Marsh, okay? So she has to do damage control. You got to the third one out. It's a whole make-believe. They want me to be so bad. I don't understand why. Why do y'all want to make me look a certain type of way? So everybody can keep ganging up on me? Like, at this, at, at this time, it's giving bully for real. It's crazy. I ain't jumped that girl. I didn't put my hands on her. I didn't even know her then. And I still try to break up that fight. It seems so weird. Y'all can tag everybody. Yeah, I believe Smiley. There was no reason for Smiley to want to jump to Seeky. Like, 
what is the reason? Was she trying to get up under Krishan's ass and please Krishan? I doubt it. Yeah, no, Tasiki's reaching on that. Um, Smiley, you got a hate train going, but I mean, you kind of set it up on yourself, girl. I mean, when you going around stealing people's chains, stalking people, taunting people on the internet, waving guns around, I mean, what, what do you expect? People are not going to have the best reaction to that type of behavior. People are going to try to find reasons to fight you, and I feel like that's what Tzatziki's doing. Because you have to remember, Mariah and Tzatziki are friends. I feel like Tzatziki is really upset that you are waving around guns and stalking Mariah. So she probably wants to beat Smiley's ass for doing that to her friend. But she has to find a reason. So this is the angle that she wants to go. Girl, I'm gonna need to see better footage than what has been released thus far because Tasiki, you looking delusional and paranoid. And the fans are starting to turn on you. Comment down below.